Okay, so we are going to do just a couple of math problems today. We're going to start off very simple. Um, this problem says, how many days will the following prescription last? Amoxicillin 125 milligrams per 5 ml. The total amount that the prescription has is 150. And the patient is taking it one teaspoon by mouth three times a day. Well, if you do not know, one teaspoon equals five ml. Now, please do not judge me because I'm writing on my computer. <clears throat> um, and so let's talk about the information that we actually need. All we need is the 150 milliliters, one teaspoon by mouth three times a day. And we don't need any of this. We are solving for how many days, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick and easy. They says one teaspoon by mouth three times a day, five mls times three gives us 15. And that's how much they're taking per day. The amount that they're given is 150. So you're going to do 150 divided by 15, and that gives you 10. How many days will the prescription last? 10 days. Got it? Okay, not too hard, not too hard at all. Okay, let's do another one. It says, how many units of heparin are in 250 milliliters of a 100,000 unit per liter? Okay, so what we're going to need here is the, uh oh, let me get my thing here. What we're going to need here is we are going to need um, 250, 100,000 units. If you did not know, one liter equals 1,000 ml. Okay, so now we have um, how many units of heparin are in 250 milliliters? of a hundred thousand units so we're going to do one hundred thousand use over one thousand milliliters equals x over 250 mls remember i showed you before that you always want to make sure that your units are the same um my thing to help you remember that is that mr milliliter and mrs milliliter are married if you put the u here and you introduce the side chick, I'm sure Mrs. Milliliters will not like that, okay? So you always keep people together, okay? You are here to solve the problem, not to break up in happy home. Got it? Got it, okay. If you got 100,000 units times 250, so you're gonna do 100,000 times 250 divided by 1,000 and Let's see what our answer is. 25,000 units. So the question was, how many units of heparin are in 250 milliliters of 100,000 units? 25,000. Okay, so you just saw for X. X is 25,000 units. Got it? That shouldn't be too hard to get to either. Okay, a 35 kilogram child is prescribed amoxicillin with a dosage of five milligrams per kilogram. The pharmacy has in stock amoxicillin 50 milligrams per one ml. Remember, whenever you don't see anything in a number in front of ml, you automatically assume that it's a one. So we're gonna say 50 milligrams per one ml. How many milliliters, so our answer should be in milliliters, will the child be given? Now, I've already kind of given you some hints here. We don't need to do any conversions with kilograms to pounds because the conversion has already been done. And so we need that. We also need five milligrams per kilogram, which means that for every kilogram in the body, they need to get five milligrams of the drug. Now that brings us to 175 milligrams and we also need this as well. So now we are gonna have 175 milligrams over X, because obviously we're solving for milliliters, so X and mils, equals 50 milligrams over one ml. And what are we gonna do here? Cross multiply. So we're going to do 175 times one divided by 50, and that's going to give us 3.5 
milliliters will the child be given in one dose. So if we're trying to figure out, you know, how much is the kid going to be given in one dose, cross multiply, divide by 50. And the kid is going to be given 3.5 milliliters in one particular dose. Hopefully this is easy for you as well. This one is a little different. This one is initial stock times initial volume equals final strength, sorry, not initial stock, final strength times final volume. This is the formula we're going to use. The question says, how many milliliters of a one to 50 weight over volume stock solution can be prepared from a one quart of a 5% stock solution, okay? And so with that being said, you automatically know that we are going to use the one to 50, the one quart and the 5%, okay? So this is a problem that we're going to have to do some converting here, okay? Now, the, in order to get what the one to, well, let's, let's back up. Let's first identify the numbers in their positions. How many milliliters of a one to 50 weight over volume stock can be prepared from a quart of a 5% stock solution? Okay, so that means that one quart of a 5% stock solution is what we have in stock. So that is our initial. It says how many liters of a one to 50 stock solution can be prepared from what we already have, which lets me know that the one to 50 is going to be our final, okay? So initial stock we already have, or initial strength. I don't know why I keep wanting to say initial stock. I guess because I'm looking at this problem, initial strength. So I'm gonna pull this formula down so we can plug in our answers or our numbers right underneath it. Initial strength is always going to be the percentage, okay? So remember that final, I'm sorry, initial strength is always the 5% or the percent sign. The volume is going to be one quart. And if you do not know, one quart is equal to 960 milliliters, okay? So if you didn't know that, you wouldn't be able to solve this problem, okay? Final strength. Um, the final strength, it says how many milliliters? So now we know that we are solving for milliliters. So we don't have the final volume, but we do have the final strength, which is going to be now where we're going to turn this 150, 1 to 50 into a decimal. And it's going to be 0 0.02, right? So I'm going to tell you too, since we turned this into a decimal, let's go ahead and turn this 5% into a decimal. And we're going to do that by dividing 5 by 100. And that's going to give us 0. So let me erase this. That's going to give us 0 0.05. Okay. So now we are ready to cook with some grease. Okay. So now we're going to do 0 0.05 times 960 divided by 0 0.02. Let's see what we get, times 960 divided by 0 0.02, and we get D, 2400. What did you do, Lindsay? I did 0 0.05 times 960 divided by 0 0.02, and I got D, okay? Again, this isn't hard for you to do. As long as you know where to plug in your numbers, you're going to be fine. The moment you don't plug in your numbers correctly, that's where the problem is going to happen. I have noticed that many of you have struggled with plugging in the numbers in the correct position, which is why the answers are coming out incorrect. So that's one of the things you really want to focus on is making sure that you understand the formula so that way your numbers are placed in the right spot. Remember, strength is always percentage. V is always milliliters. Strength, milliliters, okay? Um, initial, it's going to be prepared. Prepared, no, I want to say this, stock solution. So, well, we, we could say prepared. Let's back up. Let, let me say that. We can say prepared because it says that this is going to come from this, which means that this is something we already have in the refrigerator, 
So it's like, you know, when you make pancakes in the morning for breakfast. Well, obviously we can't make the pancakes, which is going to be the one to 50, if we don't have eggs and milk, right? So it says, how many pancakes can we make from a quart of milk and 5% eggs? So now I know that my pancake comes from my eggs and my milk. So when you think about this, always think about this as a recipe. If you cook, this should be pretty easy for you to understand because if you're already cooking and working with recipes in the kitchen, then you automatically know, okay, hey, I got to have something to work with in order to do that, right? So I want you to remember and to think about calculations this way. Please try to make it something where you are in a place where you're able to, you know, make it a part of your life. So I always tell you all that when you're doing your calculations or even when you're studying for pharmacy, I want you to study for pharmacy in a manner where you are making it a part of who you are and not keeping pharmacy over here and Lindsay over here. That's if your name is Lindsay, right? Um, you want to make sure you put it together. Why? Because the more you can make this make sense and make this a part of your everyday life, the more your brain can retain it because it's not this foreign thing that's floating in the air somewhere. Okay. So you want to make sure that you are allowing pharmacy to be a part of your everyday life. And if you don't understand the way that the book is saying it, okay, just start thinking about what in my life can I compare this to? right um and that's what's really going to help you but i am so glad that you are a part of my program i'm so glad that you are trusting me to be on this journey with you you know what if if it wasn't for you and i working together then my purpose on this earth wouldn't be fulfilled so thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of your journey and to ride this wave with you um, but don't doubt yourself. Don't make this harder than what it needs to be. And don't give this test more power than you give yourself. Ultimately, you are the conductor of this, okay? And so if you continue to believe, then you're gonna be great. You're gonna be fine. You know what I mean? But don't give it more power than you give yourself. It's a piece of paper. It can't get up and punch you and hit you. You have that type of power to make it great. Okay, so continue to do your very best, and I am here to support you when you need me, friend. Take care.